The company that wants to build a coal power plant in Linden discussed details of the plan with the town council and residents last night. The so-called clean coal plant would pipe carbon dioxide blamed for causing global warming to the bottom of the ocean floor. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. The 750 megawatt plant would be built in the Tremblay Point section of Linden. At a hearing last night, city council members were presented details of the plan by former state DEP Commissioner Bradley Campbell, who is a consultant for PureGen SCS. Unlike a traditional plant that burns coal, the facility would convert the fossil fuel into gases to make electricity. Pollutants like mercury and sulfur would be removed. 90% of the carbon dioxide created would be sent by pipeline down the Arthur Kill and 70 miles off the Jersey coast where it would be injected a mile and a half below the ocean floor. The ocean site chosen had once been surveyed for oil and gas deposits. And what they did find is, a, is a, what is perhaps the best formation in the world uh, for permanent storage of carbon dioxide. Campbell said coal for the facility would be brought in via barge so that air quality would not be impacted by diesel fuel burning trucks. The facility would also create 150 permanent jobs. This is a project that will uh, not only generate jobs, not only be a, uh, a, a wonderful step forward for addressing climate change, but also one that's highly compatible with uh, the community and one that really uh, avoids some of the impacts that, the, that have historically con concerned the community. In his presentation, the former DEP chief also said the proposed facility would displace dirtier sources of energy in the region and that the ocean pipeline could be used to pump additional CO2 from other plants beneath the ocean floor. Climate change is a problem that is going to require all of the tools uh, in our arsenal uh, if we're going to get there, including geologic disposal. Uh, and it's one reason why this project uh, is so terribly important. But, but environmentalists oppose the plan, saying it's too experimental. Only one other plant in the North Sea is sequestering carbon dioxide and on a smaller scale. This project will create carbon dioxide. It's going to pump it into the ocean. We don't know what it will do to the aquatic life or to the terrestrial life with the, dealing with the slag here in Linden. They also worry about coal that would come from states where mountaintop removal takes place. Campbell says the company is committed to obtaining coal that isn't mined using that practice. Still, some council members seem to be taking a cautious approach to the plan. What kind of guarantees can you give me for safety? I mean, we're talking, we're talking a metropolitan area. We're talking not only Linden, we're talking New York City. What kind of guarantees? I mean, you know, I, I, just, I just don't know right now. One resident who lives near the site felt more strongly. For 125 jobs, you're going to risk 40,000 people of the city of Linden. You're our council. You're our fathers. You're supposed to watch for the city of Linden. Even if this project does get local approval, PureGen will still need permits from New York, New Jersey, and at least five federal agencies. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Linden.